Did you know bunting can be used to boost your child's early literacy skills? It's time for Library Make. Bunting is typically thought of as decoration at parties or in children's rooms, but it can be so much more than that. By writing letters on the triangles, you can help your child get comfortable with the alphabet, help them start spelling simple words or reading words you spelled out, and increase their vocabulary. In this video, I'll show you how to make an interactive alphabet bunting. For this craft, you'll need cardstock, marker, yarn or string, clothespins, scissors, and an optional triangle template. First, draw and cut out the triangles. Make them large enough that the letters are easy to read. We've provided a template in the description below to help you make consistently sized triangles. Next, write your letters on the triangles. Write each of the letters of the alphabet first, writing the letter on both sides. You can even have your child write the letter on one side if they are up to the challenge. Leave some triangles blank to use when you are spelling words. Finally, hang up the string. Make sure that it's at a level that your child can comfortably reach. You will use the clothespins to attach the triangles on the string to turn this passive decoration into an interactive literacy tool. Hooray! You've just made a very simple craft that has endless possibilities. Here are just a few ideas. Mix up the triangles so the letters are not in alphabetical order. Ask your child to find an A and place it on the string. Continue with the whole alphabet. Manipulating the clothespins will build up your child's hand muscles and boost their fine motor skills. Great for getting them ready to write. Or, spell out a simple word like pen. Sound out each letter with your child as you put them on the string. Replace the first letter with another, maybe a T. Now sound out the new word with your child. Ten. Word families are a wonderful way to get your child comfortable with reading. You can also make a word of the day or a word of the week. Start off by choosing a word like ocean. Sound out and spell the word on your bunting. Talk about the word with your child and what it means. You can even use it as inspiration for more learning opportunities. Go to an aquarium, read a book, or watch a documentary about our oceans. What games and activities with your alphabet bunting can you come up with? Happy making and a happy new year. This has been an episode of Library Make, a production of the Plano Public Library System. If you'd like written instructions for this craft, click on the link in the description box below for a PDF file. Or for more information, you can check us out at our blog, kidsbrainplano.org. For more information on what's going on at your Plano Public Library, go to planolibrary.org. Thanks for watching.